and we're live hello ladies and gentlemen and uh cats and dogs and and whoever else might be watching uh like we are slugfest games uh maybe um so uh we are slugfest games we um make all sorts of games including the red dragon inn and our our viewers have been very patient with us over the past few weeks while we've been like plugging stuff from our new album and they've been going play Freebird. and so this week we're playing Freebird. <laughs> we're back to the red dragon in today um uh for those of you who have been watching you saw that our new game dungeon decorators is uh really fun and it's now on store shelves so uh we're just gonna put in a plug for that real quick but today we're back to the old red dragon inn playing good old-fashioned characters and yeah just just playing and chatting with you folks and answering questions so as usual if you have questions put them in the chat uh if you're watching this on youtube if you have questions put them in the comments we uh we like I do look at the comics i promise yep okay hello look look we've already got people yay and my local game store owner pre-order dungeon decorators yeah yay. thank you yeah hello adventure kid eight decorate those dungeons hello. there hello all the people we like this i am playing oh. captain whitehawk she is a vanilla deck but um with uh like like we do with a lot of our vanilla decks these days um there's a couple of kind of fancy cards that you read and go wait what so that's captain whitehawk joran is sort of the same jen tell us about joran uh joran is a junior senior he's in wizard college he's in and uh <laughs> and he's a bit of a uh Oh man, I shouldn't say that word that early in stream. Uh, he's a bit of a jerk. Uh, he likes pulling pranks on people with magic. Mm -hmm. And you know, he'd be getting further along academically if he didn't like that so much. Uh huh. But so he is. The, nice. The character that actually has a has a mechanic that needs explaining Ooh, uh... is Sam's. Mm -hmm. I'm playing Witch Doctor Natalie, the niece of. Uh, Brewmaster uh, Frank, there, got the name. <laughs> um, she is a witch doctor and has dollies for all of her friends, which she, you know, on adventure, uses to buff them or give them blessings and, and other ways to enhance their combat prowess. However, at the tavern, she use them, uses those uh, voodoo dolls to cause all sorts of mischief. So I have these three varieties of bad things that I could give to other people. The power jinx will reduce other players' actions, uh, all the numeric effects of their actions by one. The mind hex will increase the amount of alcohol content they gain when they gain alcohol content. And the pain curse will cause those players to lose an additional point of fortitude when they lose fortitude. And this, this alcohol gain and fortitude uh, loss can be triggered by all manner of things in the game. So if you drink an orcish rock gut and you've got a pain curse on you, you get hurt even more because the rock gut is causing fortitude damage. Sad. Mm -hmm. Sadness. All sorts of fun shenanigans and trickery. Ooh, debuffs. Look at all those people. Okay. Adventure Kid. Jordan is devastating. Yes, Bottled Monk is back. Hello. Last time Natalie was in a game I was involved with player hit me using two mind hexes simultaneously yeah that's how natalie works that's kind of uh what she does so so yes everybody welcome welcome back uh welcome um uh they're they're all they're all saying it's uh they've all been busy but really it's because they didn't want to watch judge decorators but don't <laughs> worry we still love you <laughs> don't worry we're playing Freebird today clearly Here we, go. we should just play natalie so more because everyone loves natalie <laughs> I mean, yes. clearly. Uh, so, Jeff, I, you're a you're a music person. Explain why yes. people gave so much of a damn about Freebird before it became a meme. Um. So the short answer is I don't really know. The longer answer is, you know, it's it's one of these kind of seventies like 
long form like you know it's got a really good that guitar duet thing and thing mm -hmm. in it and you know mm -hmm. that's that's really cool and kind of unique um but yeah how it got to like meme level status dan vino <laughs> all right <Scared>. well <laughs> yeah. uh, anyway yeah Who's going first? Someone with a randomization object. Randomization cube. Go, go, go. go. It's a one. It's. Oh, no, it's Jen. Decide what, does, what the die what does roll that means mean? before you roll the die. <laughs> I was helps. pointing at uh, my monitor to indicate uh -huh. that <laughs> that Jeff was the one spot. So Great. Here, I go. Uh, Here I go. Here I go, I guess. Oh, no, but the, the die roll was Jen. Oh, all right. <laughs> oh, I see. All right, cool. Here, here we go. I see. Is that a question in the Lord. chat? Is Natalie restricted to only throwing two of each at a time, or can she throw even more? No, she only has two. That's all she can give. Correct. It's limiting. Now, if you're playing with auto, you might have more than two of an instance of one of these things on top of yourself. If, if it's true. Otto is being all witch doctory, or if you're a really cool person and you're playing in the doppelganger tournaments, <laughs> uh, uh, we yes, made we, so many variant colored tokens for Natalie. We made special <laughs> colored Natalie tokens so that people would know which, handcrafted which debuff tokens belong to which Natalie. Remember, kids, if you really want to get into board games, you're also going to be getting into arts and crafts. Yes. Uh, all right, I'm gonna start things off right. Gambling, I'm in. Gambling. 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 But I haven't had an opportunity to discard and draw and get the cards that let me give you guys bits when I gamble. That sounds tough. Uh -huh. You're gonna have to cope. Raise it. All Raise. right. But did you not hear my last diatribe? <laughs> <laughs> I pass. All right, uh, what's that up your sleeve, Captain Whitehawk? Ooh. Uh, catches, uh, catches yep. the most impressive sleeves. Yeah, she, I mean, she works. does have great sleeves. Um, I'm going to see if I can sneak in a gambling I'm in and win. You can't. Oh, I'm sad. <laughs> I pass. Nyak, 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 nyak. You get all of the moonies. Get, delicious, get in my pile. Cold. For oh my those goodness. of you who have never watched Red Dragon Inn before, uh, what just transpired was a mini game where one player played the special action card, Gambling I'm In, and then we all fought over who was going to lose money. <laughs> <laughs> if you run out We're of money, all... you are eliminated from the game. So you kind of want to make sure that you have at least one gold sitting around. Yep. And now Chad. I order somebody a drink. Thanks Chad, somebody. tell us if... Tell us if you've actually never seen, or tell us if you actually don't know how to play Red Dragon Inn, because we can explain more. Because it's a, because it's a super simple game at the ten thousand foot level. Nope, Elven Wine with a Chaser yeah. of Nothing. Hey, oh, I gotta zoom out these cards because they, they, you know what, are way too large. I know I had a drink around here somewhere. No. Boom. No. Well, All right. Doesn't think so. Already. Here we go. Uh, I'm getting rid of. I'm getting rid of this. Uh, I'm keeping these. Drawing three. Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba. El big Sancho. I will ensure that I explain as I carry out my abilities what the hex uh, I'm okay. doing. <laughs> Get it? Hex. Hex. Speaking of Natalie, ah. uh, did I not tell you my flintlock had a hair trigger? Actually, that hex thing is pretty good, and I'm just now getting it as I was reading my card title. Yeah. <laughs> eh? I, eh? I lose two fortitude. Thanks, from, Dad. From playing with a gun. Uh, a musket? A pistol? Yeah, a pistol. And I give you the evil eye. Play this card immediately after the player. It makes me lose fortitude. They gain both a pain curse and a mind hex. The mind hex yeah, will increase the alcohol content. Next alcohol. Slightly game. more damage now. 
Okay, uh, I order a drink over here. Mm -hmm. I drink a drink like Trust this. Me. Dang. I, mm. uh, let's see. I attempt to give this to Natalie. Well, I don't think so. Indeed, you don't. Uh, that goes away. Uh, I am going to, yep, I'm going to drink it, and then I'm going to take an extra from the mind hacks, and the mind hacks goes away. Da -dang. Hooray. Easy peasy, and now I have it back. So I, you'll notice that I only have two of each of these tokens, so I can only hand out at most two of each of these tokens. Um, I'm going to keep these cards. These seem fine. And am I going to telegraph what I'm doing? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe I think I Ruby. think White Hawk should have another pain curse at any time speed. Oh, whatever. It's not like they hurt. Yes. yes. What? <laughs> Boo. Uh, four of these. And Ruby, I, I my hand. was having an issue with the collection because sentient ooze with a chaser from RDI six went missing. Found it last night. Shuffled in Zariah's deck. Yes. <laughs> it's uh, I've had I've had that stuff happen to my uh my decks as well yes um i'm doing this to white hawk because it's a very small punch of course you are a very small punch that gets very big um yeah. i am going to yeah that resolves i take the full three i give these back and i punch you for two. Oh, my face ow my face Challenge accepted. Uh, you are power jinxed, though. So yep. You can just keep that over there for for fun. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's see, Wench. Even though uh -oh. I'm running slightly less on the golds, we're going to give two of these over here to Jorn, and one of these over here to Whitehawk, and then I'm going to consume a delicious coffee, which. Oh. does nothing because i'm already sober okay you know what drink up captain's orders oh okay uh that seems that seems fine that seems fine oh lordy the evil spirits by the way this is the red Ooh. dragon in six drink deck and i shot nice. in three promo cards i ah. only vaguely know what they are sneaky sam <laughs> i did not notice you doing that during setup sneaky uh, I too shall attempt to ignore my first drink of the game. All right, it's your turn, Joran. Your turn to your turn to <laughs> say no to something. So, nope. Nope. Hooray! I think this stuff would be more effective as blade poison, as opposed blade to poison. spike poison or mace poison, as opposed to evil spirits. <sighs> All right, away I go. Here we are. Good old blade, blade poison. Blade poison. <laughs> Darren, Darren, good old blade poison. Yep. <laughs> you need it. Every good rogue needs it. Is she rogue? No, she's a shaman, right? Because she's a witch yes. doctor, right? She she's in that in that a shaman. divine caster class. That's like kind of also a skill character, like bards and so, rogues. My my wife has been invited to a D and D campaign, and she has she has never done this before. So she's currently reading various sections of the uh, player's wow. handbook. So, Ooh. oh, all right, <laughs> having a good time. Yeah, it's it's possible. So I'm not sure whether I'm actually invited. I it's possible I may also <laughs> join this group, but I think I think I might be not invited. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those ambiguous uh, things. All right. Uh, uh. Goodness, Captain Whitehawk. That's why we avoid casting giant growth indoors. Nope. Word of advice, don't. Because okay. I will shoot you with my <laughs> flintlock oh. that I'm holding. White Whitehawk is a, is a no no shenanigans kind of person. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Indeed. As I wilt away from those shenanigans, I'll order Natalie a drink. Full of the deep cuts today. And then... Uh, Let's see here. Ah, oh, snap. All right. Well, into a slim jim. Free bird. Today, Jen didn't read her card. Uh oh. But then she did read her card. <laughs> and then uh, she was like, oh, I'm disappointed in myself. It's the here's, a, here's a promo card. 
Yeah, each player, including you, takes a card from the drink deck and puts it on top of their drink me pile. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, I don't that. think I've ever actually played with this card. Ah, I've, well. I've seen it. I I laid it. I made the, uh, you know, I made the card layout for it. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever played it. It's a this good is one card, of our though. Gen Con promo cards. That giant dragony hand you see is Genevieve, the Gen Con dragon. Mm hmm. We oh, like mascots here at uh, the Red Dragon Inn. It's right. my turn. It is. My turn is over. Here we do this. Would I Natalie be the de facto person responsible for making mascot helmets <laughs> and costumes? Um, uh, sure. Is that a thing in this world? I mean, there's probably like one of them, and it's a brave new innovation, and it fails. Right. <laughs> okay, well, since I'm under a pain uh, power jinx, I'm going to gambling I'm in. Now, those of you will note something that we talk about in uh, Natalie's rules, I believe. Older printings of the Red Dragon Inn have gambling I'm in with all this wall of text, um, and it includes the number one to tell you how to ante. Yeah, we decided we didn't really like that. Newer, newer printings of the Red Dragon Inn have a have an updated wording that does not include a number. And so for those of you who are wondering, no, gambling I'm in is not impacted by a power jinx. Yes. So yep. anyway, neither is, gambling uh, I'm in. Neither is I raise. Ah, uh, that's true. And, and I know that I had gold in here somewhere. Hey, yeah, there lady. it is. But look, but my stealing money's... from stealing from my stealing from my pockets, except actually Natalie's pocket. So yes. one way in the art. Yep. The other way in real life. But my, my money's I know. It just seems um, really hard for you. I, but I have a winning hand. Oh, nice. Gonna, okay. Come on, cheaty face. Nip this in the bud. Come on, cheaty face. I pass. What? Do you got a you winning had one? Hand? You had one job, Cheaty Face. You had one job. I'm Chidi trying face. to turn a new leaf. I'm, All right, take away this, this power jinx. This, this cool cat back. No. Oh, I do have. Oh, I ha yes, I do have the same hand. Yes. Uh, but, so give me one back. But I need the monies. That's. Uh, I almost forgot I had that car. So I get one of them. I get one of the gold back. Mm -hmm. Then I order a drink over here, and I drinkity drink, and I drinkity drink. -a -drink, -drink, -drink. And all. Nope. <clears throat> Nothing there. Sure. Uh, and I just take the one because I don't have a mind hex in front of me. That seems smart. Yep. Ah, oh, Ruby Knight says, uh, the person I play Red Dragon in the most with really likes to play with both the sea event deck and dungeon event decks active. It's a Of course. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> those oh. are those are those are it's it's like it's like you're on a boat but then the boat crashes into a dungeon but then the dungeon goes back out to sea and then etc and it's yeah it's the kind of zaniness you would expect to see in the red dragon inn i i i test out some poison, some poison. i'm testing a new poison formula how's it working Poison. I'm gonna play with portals instead and have that uh, uh, redirected back around to Natalie. Oh stop hitting yourself. Eh, I cannot be assigned my own power jinxes. I just lose nope. two fortitude. Call it brig mode, nice. <laughs> uh we give <laughs> land <laughs> boat rinse. Oh man, all right, hold on. Just, just making some notes here. These 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 people are good. <laughs> La Boterin. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. a good one. Yeah. Oh man. And you I crawl mean... to other taverns. Yes. And and then in fact you can crawl to other taverns. Yeah. We we did in fact try it once, like with with all three of these things active at the same time, and it 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 works. It's madness. You're, you're actually it... sailing on a freight ship, and on top deck it's. It's the different pubs, and then below <laughs> and decks, all, it's a dungeon. It, it's like a cruise ship where they've all got branch offices, like serving, you know, little little kiosks serving their drinks. Oh man, uh, I got this so, here deep one draft. Um, 
I'll go mad for the new recipe and uh, consume it. Have fun with that. Yeah, this one's so so good looking. Uh, <laughs> surprise! A, you're you're art. battling Darka the whole time. <laughs> Darka oh, in boss mode. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That. So, it, like like we said, it works. It's um. Bat kittens insane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But um, but it but it works. Yep. Yeah. All right, I am finished. Unless it's right. making me drink yet again. And knuckles, thanks. <laughs> and knuckles. Okay. Who else is excited about Idris Elba <laughs> being cast as the voice actor for Knuckles? What? I know. I'm what? like, what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't understand. Uh, I, I'm all for it because I loved Idris in, in Suicide Squad. So oh yeah, absolutely. And, and he was like fabulous, honestly. Yeah, and he's always Suic been funny. Oh so, yeah. So. I <laughs> has has Idris been in something that's like a really solid comedy besides Suicide Squad? Because I'll I'll grant that Suicide Squad works as a comedy ish but also just uh, something was, pure comedy he was in the office uh he was he what? was like the uh um like an off-site coordinator for for the the paper company oh my god and came in and was like the strictly cooler boss uh-huh because <laughs> it's interesting oh Zelda. man of course right uh that works really good <laughs> This is what I get for not watching TV. Uh, Wench, what's on tap this evening? Uh oh. oh. <laughs> he's doing the thing. I'm looking at those he's doing his, cards. He's doing his fancy pants action thing. See the the Euro gamers are like, but but this doesn't improve my game. It doesn't do damage to anybody. Or, you no, know, it's it's really good. It's really yes. Good. It really it does. Is massive damage mitigation, perhaps <laughs> restoration. The fact, so we we debated whether to make this an action or or something else. Something and and basically anything other than an action just made it really bonkers good. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So we made it an action. It that right was the card that I didn't phase. read well enough last turn. Come on, you. <laughs> You're supposed to supposed to do the things when I press the buttons, T Sim. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Network lag. Pork. I like to use this card to uh, top deck or top load drink events and that sort of shenanigans. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Well, hold on. Let's see here. And I ordered a tag drink for Captain Whitehawk. Ooh. <laughs> nice says tag team of Keat Torg and Lich King seems odd to me. That would be kind of weird. Uh, that's a rough one. That'd be kind of that would be kind of great, actually. Yeah. I, I mean, I would love to play it and or see it played. There's... Like if if a slug crew had uh, a nice long story for me about a game that they played like that, I would be <laughs> riveted. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think between Torgal Snarf and Keith's gold related shenanigans and the Lich King buying Torgal Snarf time to get his minions on, oh, man. on board. Yeah. Yeah. Even with the reduced fortitude gap because you use the Lich King's oh, right. uh, board in those situations. What are you doing? Stirring in magic to you the water. You just want to draw cards? I just, just want to draw, draw cards. cards. Hit me Ugh. with them stop. cards. Jeez. Do, do you have a card to stop me? No. Frickin well, then that's Joran. tough. <laughs> tough kittens. Freaking Joran. I'm gonna draw cards now. Joran spent an entire turn just shenanigans. Just, just not, not, nothing. No progress on board was made, but much Frickin virtual Joran. progress oh, was made. That's interesting. Ruby Knight asks, "Would it start? Would that team start with two extra of Keats artifacts? I think you just start with two extra gold." Uh, I believe you start with Tor? specifically Torg's two gold coins. Yeah, I think it's. I think it is two extra gold. There, um, there is in fact a reason why Torg's gold coins are different than the normal ones. That's uh, so. No, it's there not isn't. Not just because it's but, beautiful and fun. Right. Well, no, okay, there maybe, isn't. But uh, 
but it is beautiful and we, fun perfect in every way <laughs> okay i am going to now well joran needs punching joran is in dire need of punching mm -hmm. so you have to deal partially with pirates shall i show you with my sword and my rope and shall i tie you to the mast where sounds, you will uh, get hit by lightning in a storm sounds <laughs> dangerous ma'am uh but i'm in college so that's this is my time to try new things. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Um, Cougars with ropes. What could go wrong? <laughs> oh, God. Wow. I didn't take it there, wow. folks. I just need to say that for the record. It was not Yeah, me. I... Yeah. Whew. This, this uh, is going here to bury whatever cool stuff Joran had. Um, that seems fine. And uh, then I do this, oh. and... Yeah, okay. That's some of the stuff I need. All right. Oh, hold, um, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, oh. Three, undo, undo. Here comes the you gotta thing. Gotta save that healing for the dungeon. Oh. Uh, when I can have fortitude gain is reduced to zero. Um, okay, that resolves, and then I ignore the drink. Okay. Boo. <laughs> Same as it ever was. All right. Boo, and scope. All right, five new cards. Let's see what I got here. Oh, that's that's a card. Oh, that's that's a, th those are options. Um, Joran, pick another player. They lose one fortitude and gain a mind hex. Mind I like to make my troll swill with a bit of spice. Oh, that sounds spicy. Okay, okay. Uh. Once again, college experimentation. Mm -hmm. I'll drink anything <laughs> once. Isn't he on an extended sabbatical from yes. uh, from the collegium? Yeah. Oh, speaking of troll swill, look, troll hey! swill. Did you uh, actually order someone a drink? I think you did yes, not. I did. Mm. I thought I did. No, no, I didn't. Here you go. All right. Good. All right. I drink this troll swill. I don't imagine anything awful happens to it. Other than it being troll swill. The trick is drinking around the eyeball. Oh! Hang on, you're a, you are a troll, sir. Oh, right, right, right. I, yes. I just I just get the drunks. Uh, I'm an adorable anime troll. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an adorable, no, really, it's not an underage person in the bar troll. Correct. There was some there was some internal discussion of how old we needed to make her to not run to that line. Yeah. <clears throat> and then Joran is going to punch somebody. One of the few or times the troll shield secondary applies. Correct. I have forgotten that I was Hork, in fact. Come on, get get on the Gambling? I just discarded all those. That sounds tough. Transmute peanuts to Me gold. I'm paying too. with gold from the inn. Uh, there's the gold. I'm paying with gold from my gold. Uh, I'm going to pass. I'm going to play this cheating card, and Whitehawk's going to let me because I'm giving the pain curse to Jordan. Uh, time out. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> the fun police. No. <laughs> The fun police. Hang on, I, I'm. The fun police are deciding how much gold I can deal with here. No, you know what? That resolves. That resolves. I don't care. We're gonna have a good time tonight. You know, you know, Joran. Um, Natalie cheated. Are you gonna let? Are you gonna let Natalie get away with that cheating without <laughs> responding with some cheating of your own? <laughs> hint, hint, nudge, nudge. She did. Yeah, I race. Oh gosh, Joran, you suck. <laughs> oh. I pass. Hey, Natalie, cheat again. No, I pass. <laughs> All right, I win. Joran gets rid. Uh, good night. Because of some weird house rules, we sometimes play with uh, my brothers involved. We have to find substitutes for gold. We had a bowl of, bowl of peanuts that we used for gold. Yes. Yes. Now I want to know about these weird house rules that need a, a bag peanuts of peanuts. To peanuts. 
Right. I, I want to know what these weird house rules are that you need so many gold pieces that you need to use a bag of peanuts for them. But um, cool. <laughs> no, the real weird house I mean, rule is that you just replace all the gold coins with a bag of peanuts. Oh, that's that's a that's pretty good. <laughs> don't uh, don't do and that. And if I get sick of the game, get distracted. I'll start eating the gold. <laughs> right. Then if I then if I get sick of the game, I can just eat my gold pieces and be like, oh, I'm out of gold. See ya. All right. Well, <laughs> let's let's find out what I drink here. Come on. You can only play as Zot Joran and Lich. Do it, Angel right. Tears. What? What? No. Save Do I discard my mind hex? I think I need to gain alcohol content. Yep. Okay. Uh, cool. Correct. No, nothing. All right. None. Neither of these things go away when you're. All right. When you're the recipient of restorative effects. We each picked seven characters. Seven characters and one was not uh, going to swap one for the next. Oh, that's kind of cool. All right. It was, it was just one on one on one, uh, one on one, or with with or without Otto. Because yeah, that actually that sounds like kind of a neat variant of the uh, uh, going going through a gauntlet of characters. It's kind of like what Sam and I do for playtesting, except we you know we don't we don't treat it as one really long game. Three players with seven characters each. Man, mm. thoughtful chin That's stroke. Cool, That's kind of cool, yeah. All right. Uh, I drank. My turn is over. It's, it's like King yeah. of Fighters meets Red Dragon Inn. Yeah. I'm sure, I, and I won't stand idly by while you insult the drag for three. Don't insult my ship. Secretly four. Secretly four. I contributed. That sucks. <laughs> I don't like it. I'm helping. <laughs> Lady, I'm starting to feel pretty attacked. Um, gold peanuts drink event prize when? Ooh. I thought there was a golden peanuts. Uh, we, yeah, prize. did we do that? I don't think so. Oh, is, Guys, it on, I, is it on the dashboard, but we just haven't gotten around to making it? Uh, oh, was that going to be last year's? Future, future, future card. <laughs> okay, so uh, apparently we don't have such a card like this, but I believe something like that has been pitched sometime in the in the yeah. in the vast spreadsheet of random thoughts we we keep it is it is one of my favorite running gags to give the spellcasters in the game mm -hmm. like like if they if i ever have an inkling that they were a collegium wizard at some point then they learn peanuts into gold and like transmutation 101 yep yeah i mean the more you tell the joke the funnier it gets so exactly gotta, gotta keep uh, at it the wench stop playing with them dare drinks there yeah, oh, that no. resolves. Drink, uh, and then I do the other wine. one. Oh, okay. Oh. No. No. You want to spend your wench there, Joran? <laughs> nah. Okay, go. I'm going to keep one of these cards, or I'm going to discard. Hello, D Mystic. Discard. Welcome. We're playing Freebird. I mean, Red <laughs> Dragon Inn. Um, my churn is boring because I need more dolls gaze into the face of love of adorable dollies <laughs> adorable <laughs> dolls and the obsessive weirdo who uh who plays with them yes but i mean if they gave you magical powers you can't say you wouldn't play with dolls yeah um, can confirm would play with dolls in order to get magic powers I, I and they're fun exactly Tarek Taran. Exactly. Wow. Look, okay, we're, we're getting all the house rules now. Uh -oh. House rules. That, Bob the Monk has a house rule. We have a continuous game. If the character is knocked out by alcohol and fortitude, the next character gets 10 gold and drinks from the last. But if you get kicked out for gold, the next character only comes in with eight. Hmm. And, huh. Okay. Yeah. 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 Interesting. Chapman Stan says garlic beer set precedents that promos could refer to spell casters as a group. Uh, I doubt we would do that. That's, yeah, unfortunately, that's... unfortunately, we we weren't thinking far enough ahead. I guess when we made the first game, uh, and <laughs> for holy and water, there's, right? And there's not really a there's not really a good way to make sure that everybody knows at the table who's classified as a spellcaster and who's yeah. not. Like things like that. So so we we actually did have an internal discussion about undead and whether that was you know too confusing but we figured that was such a common thing that everyone would know which Quick, we thought people might Chad, get... name everybody who's undead in the red dragon inn 
Well, we thought we we thought people might get it wrong for one of them, but we really didn't care that much. I guess is the uh, answer. But like when you get into concepts like spellcast, like is Halden a spellcaster? Is Natalie a spellcaster? Is Tara a spellcaster? <laughs> right? There's there's a there's a bunch of gray area that we would not want to. Uh, the the theme gain by doing something like that would not be worth the mechanics confusion of doing it. Right. Yeah. Chopstead uh, says me. Don't give it away, Choppy. Don't. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta keep that under wrap. The, the masquerade. Keep it up. <laughs> uh, Did you just go? Uh, yeah. yeah how, right. how clumsy of me, Whitehawk? I've spilled nope. my rock gut all over. All over me, yum. I've, All over oh my goodness. yourself. I've I've never seen this card's art and like read the art, so to speak. <laughs> that she spills her drink on a doll. That's just that's real good. Yeah. No. This is a this is a funny funny deck. Yes. It is it is like, good. Especially Ow. when you start looking at like who the dolls are in each particular card. There's there's some. Yeah, there's some good stuff. All right, I'm good. Uh, chats, chats chimed in on the challenge and have named the, the Lunch King. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Lich King, Amandir, and Vlaslo. Oh my God, guys! Undead. Yeah, guys, what if what if all of the villains have to do like a competitive festival booth, and the Lich King has a booth called the Lunch King, and he's like doling out sandwiches. <laughs> the most welcome, welcome to subs. what it's like to, Red, to have Red a Dragon conversation in, with me. Red Dragon in nine, there it is. <laughs> Red Dragon in nine, the lunch king. The lunch king. <laughs> Rise of the lunch king. <laughs> <laughs> it's got cards like you want fries with that. And uh Okay, yep, yeah, I need a oh I need a moment. Okay. Oh, so good. I think I'm. I think I'm better now. Uh -huh. But yeah, better so than like, what? <laughs> the, the, I'm if, not telling. If I remember correctly, the character that we figured people would would have difficulty or have arguments at the table about whether or not they're undead was the Rip Vlaslo the werewolf, right? Oh. oh. Yeah. I I was a little concerned about Vlaslo as, as well, but I suppose that's sort of yeah. the I don't know Jet, the definitional. You yeah, Jed yeah. nailed it. Nobody, nobody tossed up a name that wasn't an undead. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, uh, but yeah, That's there's what such we a, call that. Yeah. All oh, Lord of the Fries. Lord of the Fries memories. is great. Yes. So, so do you mistake a game I used to play called Lord of the Fries it's about fast food zombies? Yes, that is a that is a very good game made by Cheap Ass Games. My uh, my old friend James Ernest, who helped sort of break me into the games industry. Uh, created that and many other fine games. So the first yes. of many mistakes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I mean, what? Get, getting Stone me into cold. this industry? <laughs> hey, hey, everybody, pay me a gold. <clears throat> oh. Magic tricks. Stop, stop taking my gold. No. James, I, uh, yeah. I thirst James for your known, gold. James is best known for games like Kill Dr. Lucky. Um, but he also made Tack, and if you haven't seen Tack, the wench, go Captain. play it because it's really good. Fine. Fine. Didn't he also They're do fine. some work on like um, Pirates of the Spanish Moon? <laughs> yep. The first constructible the... card game. Oh man! Pirates of the Pirates of the Spanish Main was. I was, had uh, so was... much of that because I love putting little things together, yeah. and then you have little tiny mm -hmm. boats, and you put them on the table. Anyway, <clears throat> which brings some drinks and I'll pay for what it I, from the scuttlebutt stuff. in the industry was that the game that James and I think it was James and Mike Selinker, I think both worked on that one. And the game they the game they sold to was it WizKids? The game they yes. sold to WizKids was was substantially more interesting than the game that WizKids eventually printed. So I'm but, surprised. Uh, but, those, but those boats, man, those boats were really cool. The boat's really cool. Um, I, I played a lot of the of variants for that game to help solve the whole like 
I move Hoover all the tokens off. Let's see if I win. Uh-huh. On turn two. I, as much as I enjoyed the, the concept of Pirates of the Spanish Main, I actually, the game that I went all in on was um, Racer Knights of Falconis. I've never uh, even yes. heard of that one. I, I can't remember who published it. I think it was WizKids, but it's it's like a a fantasy wacky racers, right? Yeah. So you have well, orc greasers and like snake cars that look like snakes and they're driven by snake people and you know, gnomish tinkered cars and and the cars were entirely modular. Like you could swap out the wheels. You had to construct the engine separately from the car, and then you like sunk it into a little yeah. into a little square on it, the hood of uh, the car. It, it had it's pretty good. So actually. much toy and, value. And inside the engine, you put one of those micro D sixes to help you keep huh. track of the engine power. Huh. That's right. Pretty clever. Yeah. Honestly, it was bonkers. So I went and I made like they had some map component stuff, like you know, walls and ramps and water and, and oil hazards ramp. and stuff. Sick ramps. <laughs> um, and I I printed those out and attached that to chipboard and made like all of the stuff that you would need to turn a table into a fancy racetrack. And and then I never played the game. <sighs> yep. Is that Jen has a lot of stories like that. <laughs> I got this thing and it was cool and I painted things and I built things and it was awesome and then it sat on my shelf. But, but Jen did get shelf. the get the dollar value on just entertainment. That's right. I, That's I got true. plenty of lonely fun out of it. <laughs> That's true. Uh, is it I my believe, turn? Uh, it's I think it's your phase? drink phase. I okay. Think. Okay. Cool. Sorry could, for. Could... Yeah, we have a newcomer could... saying saying I, that I thirst for your gold is the first thing they heard when they logged in. So yes. And then how's it going, Slugfish? It's going good. We are we are back to playing Red Dragon in today. But go uh, go try Dungeon Decorators and go buy it from your local game store. Wizards also, Mystic here's another promo card. Mm. Yeah. Oh, all right. I'm going to gain two AC and add the top two cards of my discard pile to my hand. Mm. Loot core. Notice we did these in their art style rather than oh ours, God, which is kind of Oh, God, you got your neat. tip the winch back. <laughs> yep. That's not good. <laughs> top two cards of your discard pile to your hand. Yeah, I forgot about this one. Yeah. These are these are from, uh, what was the name of the game? Uh, 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 it's, Loot core is the name of the company. Drunk Quest. Yes, that's the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. And they we did a promo crossover with them many, many years ago. Oh man. D Mystic says uh, they a... just bought Kill Dr. Lucky finally. Another good uh, game. Oh, thank yes, you. Yes, that's good. I I actually I actually slightly prefer the island of Dr. Lucky, which is uh, uh which is a, a similar, a very similar game, but more recent and you know on an island rather than in a mansion. But I but yes, this idea of reverse clue was kind of the game that put cheap ass on the map way back in ninety seven or whenever the heck it was. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Turn over. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna. Mm. I'm gonna. Hmm. I need to do some punching. Uh, I don't think I can do enough punching no. before I run out of gold. <laughs> Shopping stance asks when RDI is gonna do a cool like Magic the Gathering and get a Fortnite crossover. Maybe some Street uh. Fighter characters. <laughs> I, I have a. Brew Dogen! <laughs> oh man, I, the, I, would I heard about the Fortnite crossover. So I, I have a friend. I have a friend who's encouraging me to contact our, our my contacts at WotC to see if they want to do a, a Red Dragon in crossover. But oh man, I, that that would be. I should do. I should do that at some point. I don't think they. I doubt they'll be interested. But heck, they're doing all sorts of crossovers now. Yeah. So, so who knows? Ad- admittedly, the things they're doing crossovers with are are multi are, are bigger dollar. Plus. Yeah, sometimes are, are, billion are dollars way, history. way, 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 way bigger than us. Yes. Are there any like Magic the Gathering dances in that Fortnite crossover? <laughs> I like, have no idea. Like, I gotta. Maybe I should research that after this stream if I remember, because. Uh, uh, 
I think the announcement. Anti up for walk the plank, week, people. Oh, the the Magic Gathering community is 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 up in arms and also not up in arms. No, no, no. Right, the Magic the Gathering com community oh. on Reddit and and like the people who always complain about this stuff are complaining about this stuff, right? Uh, in the meantime, Magic the Gathering is is like breaking sales records and getting you know, and getting inroads into markets that uh, of people that they've never had before and and so turns out you know, getting eyeballs on your product no matter where you get them from and making people happy and helping them have fun earns you money when you make games God. yeah so yeah so basically wizards of the coast is a is a is an illustration of uh how not to just let the complainers on reddit control your business model so anyway, nice of the hokey pokey. Walk pokey oh man nice of the hokey pokey is a great card um unglued yeah. is a great set uh and you have to walk the plank and then it's I, your go i'm walking the plank i got nothing or i choose to play nothing <laughs> yeah, yeah that's it yeah yeah, yeah. That, that's the way i choose to phrase my words <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, yuck. Winning hand. I choose to play nothing. All right. Uh, I pass. Yay. Uh -oh. Natalie tip the pass, wish. But. Oh. No, you're not supposed to change which way you're going. <laughs> Nope, that's uh, that's tough. I'm trying to be adaptable. No, stop. <laughs> stop. After all, I'm in the tunnel. <laughs> stop playing correctly. What are you doing? I know. Why are I never do directly down. I finally got one of these. So there's hey. a one there and a two there, and we get closer to the bottom of the coincidentally. Drink you finally deck. have enough money to afford to play the card as well. Uh huh. That was good timing. Then I drank this. So I'm going to go black, which I will split with Joran. And I do nothing to my half. <clears throat> All right. Um, uh, it's two yeah. alcohol content. Two for me. And go. Wait, wait. People don't want Warhammer characters to be in, uh, in, in the Red Dragon Inn? I, I thought that was um, the jam. What? Oh God! <laughs> There's a Warhammer no. set as well. Oh wow! Uh, of oh, I, of Magic the Gathering. Yeah, yeah. I think like I don't know how many of these are are secret layers and how many of them are actual sets. Yeah, I, I haven't been uh, following Magic much, but I I just had lunch the other day with a an old friend of mine from that world and. Uh, and he says, "Yeah, all of these weirdo crossovers—they're all—they're all secret layer stuff. None of them are, as, as far as I know, that none of them are official sets or anything like that." Man, yeah. like my heart wants to make a joke. There are Warhammer 40k characters, but my brain knows that there are Warhammer 40k characters. Uh, I'm doing Don't this. To suggesting Jordan. more, more crossovers. Uh, Rude. Sure. I just like it. Uh, Druffy, a... Druffy could be fun. I don't know. Uh, I don't know who that is. Uh, they just they they draw and and stream while drawing. Oh, and, uh, and are, okay. And are, they're entertainers with an artistic. If anybody, thing. if anybody is you know friends with somebody who has a you know a million subscriber Twitch channel, you know, <laughs> send them our way. I think they do. <laughs> <laughs> um. Hey, I did that thing, and now I am sad because uh, hopefully I don't lose. Uh, we're going to give more of this to Joran because he has the tallest stack of gold that I am in desperate. We haven't really, we haven't really had Chaser Palooza yet. Yeah, no. Stop jinxing it. Yeah, I was, that's why I said it right before you flipped your card. So, you know. I, I, I eat this delectable gelatinous cube. It's got extra protein. Mm. Extra gross protein. Mm, oh, you've been playing. Uh, 
You've been playing the gambling I'm in games for the Rogues and Warriors deck. Cool. Yeah, nice. I've been trying out the gambling uh, deck you guys made for alternatives. I haven't inserted them into the RDI games yet. Yeah. So, so those we we just like them as you know, like like poker night kind of kind of things. Dealer's choice. Yeah. When uh, when it comes time to try them, yeah, you know, stick to the simpler ones, or else you'll be you know playing more <laughs> gambling games than Red Dragon in. But uh, but yeah, they're fun. And they're... then do it with both event decks as well. Right, with both event decks crawl. and the pub crawl and in boss mode, and uh, and then go and like <laughs> jump off a cliff because you can't deal with your life anymore. <laughs> Why just boss mode? We could have boss and lackey mode. <laughs> Uh, ah, I can't take it anymore. Two v two v two v. Jeff is projecting. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. So we're fine. Those, like we said, that that all does work. Yep. It, um, we've we've tried it like you know once. Eight player four it's, team uh, Red Dragon Inn is still the most fun I've had on the playtest server. Oh man. Yeah, okay. Two v two v two v two. Right. Yes. Okay. No bosses. Just two v two v two. Yeah, yeah. You have a power jinx. That's going to make you sad. Can I recommend gambling I'm in instead? Well, you could. But, uh... But, Captain, I would never cast warp wood on a friend's chair. Uh, Let's see. A word of advice, do not. Okie dokie. You have prevented your one fortitude loss. Oh, dang. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Whoops. All right. And Is that I. Worth keeping the card. With 12 cards left, I'm going to be another couple turns before the cycle. Hmm. Yeah, there's that That's an interesting you. question. Mm-hmm. Now I'm going to reveal this Dorvin Firewater. Drink deck showed up. Yeah. <laughs> Ruby Knight apparently tried to control five characters in Battle for Greyport simultaneously. Yeah, that's Ooh. uh that's that's daunting. Not I think now. I did These three spells once. aren't gonna learn themselves. Sadness. Okay. At the end of your turn, I'm going to lose one alcohol content because I can pull them back with the best of them. I'm sober. Do this. I draw a six. Draw a six, maybe. There we go. Uh, What we're going to do is I'm going to... We're going to have a rousing captain speech. I captain the others. No. (laughs) You captain the others. I think, was it me or, who, or I think Cliff you or you? I think I think I came up with this one because like this was in this was in the days when you know most of the take one gold from everybody had you know you impress the others or you scare the others or or whatever and so so one day we were just you know joking around with this card and one of us it might have been me I think said you know you captain the others mm-hmm. and uh, yeah. good one solid joke it's uh. <laughs> It's so corny, but it's also kind of low-hanging fruit of the kind that we um, do all the time. Yeah. Um, okay, this goes here. There we go. And then <laughs> this goes here, and I take a booze. Didn't we order Dang, they're just, wine? <laughs> they're coming from all sides. Dang. Okay, so... So you're turning it into a three and you're adding one to it. And well, we tried I to do, do it at the nothing. same time. So we take back our plays and we and well, we it turns, slow back to turn order. Uh True. yes. And so so you are correct, but it doesn't right, it doesn't yeah. matter which order these are actually played in because the result sure. is the same either way. But yes, go I mean the order is that second. I might opt to keep my make something into a three AC card, but uh, yeah. yeah, I suppose that's true. But I yeah. don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I take four. I take four and curse oh, you all gosh. and go. I don't mm-hmm. want to hold on to this card, but I kind of gots to. You gots to? Uh, don't let don't let your own brain tell you what to do. 
My brains. The brains. You tell that brain what to do. What for? Mind hex for you, White Hawk. Also 142 hex. loss. 142 to the mind hex. Um, right now, do I care what's this? telling my brain this. what to do is one and one. And June shine iced tea it. lemonade hard kombucha. Challenge accepted. Uh oh. They's fighting. Well, well, I happen to just have this handy Joran doll over here. It's all fun and games until someone else gets hurt. I ignore it. Huzzah! Boo. Earns. Boo earns. <laughs> Proceed. Uh, right, there's the rest of my turn. Um, uh, gonna get this here drink for you. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's that's really bad. Does this give me gold? Howl at the moon. Put this card in oh. front of you the next time you play an action. Sometimes, uh, or sometimes card that causes fortitude loss. Add two to the fortitude loss. Ooh. Then discard this card. Well, um, unfortunately, Howl. I don't think there's going to be an opportunity to do that anytime soon. Uh, we take the three. Howl. <laughs> One, two, a three. And uh, there we go. All right, turn over. Turn over. Haru. Ruby Knight used control five characters because fought two scenarios at the same time with a total of 10 foot. Why? Why? <laughs> Why in Kitten's name would you do that? What? what huh? Because you can. Because, right, the si simul chess, I suppose, is a thing. Yeah. Gambling! Gambling! Uh, Gambling! The worst it's part is I have to, to participate. Even though Gambling I have the way to is not mandatory. I could avoid it, but I have to participate because there's only one drink left on the drink deck. Da, 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 da. Um, I guess I pass. I'll raise, which does nothing other than take control <laughs> of the round again because I have no gold. If the uh, razor six of a kind. can't... What if, the if the razor can't ante, nobody antes. Mm -hmm. If somebody else antes and a person can't, they just don't. Uh, I am going to pass. I too shall pass and then lose because I am poor. Yay! Which would what have happens happened at the end X? of this action phase. It stays. It stays? Okay, that I didn't remember that. So I still have a mind hex. That's very sad. <laughs> and then I order... And our good captain a drink hey and then we all pay and then we pay to the end this also Flip. hang on this also goes in shuffle ah yeah. oh, okay well actually i'm going to double check that mind hex thing because i actually think it doesn't stay because we intentionally made almondir the reverse i can't remember because there's on the one hand it's it's you know on the one hand it's a bit odd for it to stay on the other hand we didn't want too much like punitive targeting happening to try and get rid of the things i don't remember mm -mm. uh oh uh oh oh and uh -oh. suddenly the drink deck shows up and oh okay it makes me take three ac unless, unless. i take three ac all right yay maybe i win soon okay we're getting rid of okay i definitely don't need gambling cards anymore God, remember when we were like freaking out over the size of rule books being like four megabytes on our, on the website? I mean, <laughs> that is still a bad thing if they are too big because because uh, sometimes we're stuck at Gen Con trying to uh, look up rules on our phones oh. and our phones are like... <laughs> especially because um, Especially because the internet in the Indiana Convention Center has Link. some definite dead spots. Super dead. Uh, you, your uh, your initial gut was 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 correct. The the active persistent threat of harm 
evaporates when Natalie passes out. Yep, noise okay. got our back. Hexes go away. Okay, great. Um, I'm going to see if punching Joran and tying him to the mast again is going to do anything. Mm. If it does, then cool. If not, I'm going to be sad that I didn't play the other action I could have played. Well, uh, I always get the last laugh. <laughs> we don't double KO, but but I punch you and I die. You get one last punch in. Yep. And Captain takes it because I uh, managed to defend my goal just barely. Do, 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 do. <sighs> oh, man. Yeah, when uh, when you won that yeah. one big round of gambling, I was like, oh, yeah, that do was, I play that a winning clutch. hand or do I do this? And then mm -hmm. I flipped a coin. The coin was wrong. Uh, just the, the way coin it is led you astray. Usually it doesn't. <laughs> led you astray. So there it is. We're back to Red Dragon Inn. Um, and maybe we'll do it again next week. I don't know if we have a plan for next week, but um, we'll have a plan soon for next week. So, Not you know, as usual, come and show up yeah. and, and ask us questions and talk about all the crazy things you're doing with your house rules and so forth. Because, um, you know, it's a crazy game. And remember, you know, games are supposed to be like fun. So if there's some rule that you want to play because it makes it more fun for you, then great. Have more fun. You are freely encouraged Yay. to do so. Crap. Very fun. Who, who are you and what have you done with Jeff? <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I'm, I'm feeling... I'm feeling generous today. Okay, okay, that's <laughs> that's fair enough. They, they already um, own the things, and they could do whatever right. They, they want they, with we it. can't stop right. you from playing with house rules, so we might as well all have fun with it. Maybe right. their house rule is that every time they play a card, they have to burn it, and eventually they'll have to like buy another copy, <laughs> uh, and then they'll get more. What I hear that's a really thinking. fun house rule. Uh huh. All is dust, mm. everyone. Yeah. I I played Crashes. a magic variant. Played a magic variant like that where it's basically sealed deck, but if a card you know goes to the graveyard or whatever, you actually tear it in half and, and throw it away. And but but the the key bit is it's a single elimination tournament, and each round the winner gets the loser's cards. So there's cards being destroyed on the way, but there's also you know you're you're getting more and you know rebuilding and so forth. And I really liked this variant, but there were some people who who really, you know, who A, didn't like it. And there were even some people who were like offended at this idea yeah. of like tearing up cards, which I, I, I don't know. My, my reaction to that was, oh, come on, get, 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 get over it. Who cares? But um, some people like valued their stuff enough that it, that this idea of playing a format where you're destroying things made them cringe. So yeah. anyway, my house rules. House rules. Aru. House Aru. House Aru. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, I think it's time for me to finish this hard kombucha and also to eat the Thai food that I heard mm. arriving like five minutes oh, ago. Oh, man. I want Thai food. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty hungry. I'm going to go eat something also. So um, thanks for coming, everybody. Uh, Red Dragon in. Woo. <laughs> so, uh, go check out Dungeon Decorators if you haven't already. And uh, thanks for joining us. And we will see you. Uh, how close is RDA to being on shelves? Not very. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Um, we'll, we'll 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 keep people posted on that later on. Um, so, uh, but in the meantime, thanks for joining us, and we will talk to you all next week. See ya. Bye. 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 -bye.